Dan Quinn, I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your future endeavors. It's been a wild few years, but just like every other year, the defense towards the end of the season in December and January faded off into the distance like a big booty ex that you wish you could get back, but you know she's gone because somebody already put a ring on it. You have fun in Seattle, Dan Quinn. In Seattle, you take care of Dan Quinn. Although I must warn you, you will be susceptible to your defenses crumbling like loose leaf paper that's been drenched in the Seattle rains. So Dan Quinn, you have a wonderful off season. I hope you have a amazing round of head coaching interviews and thank you for everything that you've done in helping to develop our young players to the point to where they are. Hopefully the next guy that we have come in unteaches them playing 15 yards off of the ball when the receivers only need about four or five yards to get a first down. Hopefully the next guy that comes in uses linebackers that are actually nfl size linebackers and not dudes that are playing completely out of position, putting both them at a bad position and our team in a bad position in the middle of the field and as it pertains to running the ball en route to Aaron Jones having a career night against the Dallas Cowboys while he has more than three touchdowns and a bunch of yards against us at the very time that I'm making this video. And I don't even want to continue to look at the statistics because I'm sure at this point, the Cowboys are going to go ahead and go on a downhill tumble and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. But I'm making this video now while I still have some life left in me, while I still have a little bit of maturity left. It is just slowly seeping out because I'm 100% ready to punch a hole in each and every one of the walls that make up this here office in which I'm recording this video in. <sighs> Mike McCarthy, it's been fun, man. You've been smashing watermelons and making all the guys in the locker room like each other, but damn it, uh, when the lights are the brightest and when we need you the most, it just seems like every single time in situations where the Cowboys can be possibly set up by either a mental downfall, whether it be against Arizona after losing Trevon Diggs and you need a leader, you need your head coach to come in and tell your team to pick it up. Get up, man. <claps> Slap them. Get them up so that that way they can be prepared to play the game that's coming up against a team that's far superior to them. And then they lose that game. Hey man, look, I'm still watching the damn game. I'm trying to sit here and edit this video. I record it because I knew I wasn't going to be in a mind state to finish watching the game, bro. They got 41 points. They ain't quick to tell my ass up out of here. All right, y'all go back to the video. Y'all go back. And then you have a chance at redemption when you have the San Francisco 49ers coming in after they have successfully swept the floor with us multiple playoffs in a row now, and it's just getting embarrassing at this point. And yet again, the team comes in unprepared. And then when we have a chance to firmly stamp our hold on the division to win the NFC East title and make it a little bit less competitive and maybe even compete for the one seed and have to avoid getting embarrassed in front of God and everybody on national television against the Green Bay Packers, maybe... You would have them prepared to play Buffalo. We didn't get run all over like a whore's pair of panties that she threw out of one of her customer's window that's now getting driven over on I-20. Maybe you would have had us prepared to come and play a game in which we are the two seed at home after winning umpteen games in a row at home. We heard all about it. And then we come out and get embarrassed against the Green Bay Packers. Now, I know I may seem like I'm doing a good job with this segment right now, but trust me, I'm holding back some tears, y'all. I'm trying to be mature right now. If you expect me to come on here and start calling players out of their names and say that people suck and do all of that, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> they about to put up 50 points on us. They about to put up 50 points on us. They just scored again, bro. I'm going to be reasonable. These dudes still put up the seasons that they put up. No. No. Tell that dude to shut up. Hey, Clint, shut up. I'll take over Dak Attack. Who's that? I already know. I already know that's my pops calling. Y'all want to see what this man just texted me, bro. Y'all want to see what that man just texted me, bro. 
This is his response. He's a 49ers fan. This is his response to what's going on. <laughs> oh my! <sighs> I recorded this video, the the part y'all just seen, that was a different me. I'm a different person now, bruh. I recorded that part because I didn't want to come on this video being this person. But now, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. we just got so embarrassed. Look, y'all, here's the facts. We can defend our team about what they look like during the regular season, all day long. If these, if these four and three letter networks ain't talking real about what the team is actually doing on the field and they just want to interject with bull crap every time that happens, cool. But anything they got to say about how the Cowboys perform in the playoffs, oh, we deserve all of that. We deserve all that smoke. 48 to 16 is crazy. It turned me Italian. Mike, I know I gave you that nice farewell just now. Get your ass on the first Greyhound about of Dallas ASAP. Dan Quinn, get your ass on the first donkey out of Dallas. ASAP, never in all my years of being a cowboy fan and all my cowboy fandom have I ever been embarrassed to this degree. And it was across the board. Look, no, I'm not going to say, we need to get rid of Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott suck. And then, 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 then. That's the numbskull way to go about this, man. I'm not calling y'all a numbskull if you think that. You're fair to believe and feel however you want to feel tonight. Real talk. I'm not calling none of y'all a numbskull. I'm saying y'all know how we do on this channel. I try to remain objective. I try to keep it real about the team. But getting embarrassed like this, I can't give them the respect and grace of, of, of trying to be objective while not sensationalizing it a little bit. Now... I have to sensationalize it a little bit because now this is just flat out pathetic. Y'all will never have me ever, 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 believe that we're going to do anything in the playoffs again. I don't care if the quarterback is Dak Prescott. I don't care if it's Tony Romo. I don't care if it's fucking... Gail Sayers, I know he ain't even a quarterback. I don't care if it's Barry Sand. I don't care if it's Ray Lewis. I don't care if it's Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Joe Montana, Dan Marino, or Jerry Jones himself, as long as Jerry is on his team and he is in that office. All that bad karma he's accumulated over his 70 to 80 decades of life, probably 150 to 160 if you count all the babies he's probably ingested the blood of to stay alive as long as he has. All that bad karma is just weighing down this team. And it don't matter who the quarterback is, bro. We've seen this with Romo and the improbable fumbling of a damn a hold. We haven't seen that since, I don't think, not to lose a playoff game. I don't care who it is. This team is cursed. Jimmy Johnson didn't lift the curse. He doubled that joint. Bow! When he said, How about them Cowboys? He really was putting an extra hex on us. Oh, my goodness. Look, y'all. Again, I keep it real. I keep it objective. And I got to keep it a book. Dan Orlovsky, Emmanuel Archo, Joy Taylor, Shady, Dumbass McCoy. Even though 98% of the stuff that comes out your mouth is full of shit. The 2% that's real is the fact that the Cowboys choke in the playoffs every single year, bro. And we can't avoid that truth of life until they change that. No matter how much cheerleading, hoping, wishing, analytics, whatever we can look at, bro. People can now, people can say what they want to say, y'all. As far as it pertains to our team in the playoffs, until they prove us otherwise, bro, we have no reason to believe anything else. 
Bill Belichick, come save us. I know a lot of y'all think that Bill Belichick is a little out of date. He may be past his expiration date, but you know what? You can make some yogurt with oat milk. Y'all don't like yogurt? Damn, do something. Because this shit that they giving us right now, this tapioca pudding, this watermelon smashing man that's leading our team right now, it just led us to the most embarrassing moment in franchise history. Trust me. We're going to have plenty of Cowboys content. Plenty. The channel not going nowhere. Stay subscribed. <laughs> Actually, if you're a new viewer, if you're a Cowboys hater, subscribe. Because not only am I going to keep it real and give you the up-to-date, objective news about what's going on on our team, but you also going to get to eat some humble... You're going to get to see us and me eat humble pie all summer long, bro, until next season starts because I have to. Because that's keeping it real. And that's keeping it a buck. And that's being a man of your word and standing on what you believe and say. I still believe Dak Prescott is the quarterback for this team. I don't know what else needs to change, y'all. We might just have to enjoy good high-level quarterback play in the regular season for a long time because our team is cursed in the playoffs, bro. It don't matter who it is. Our team is cursed in the play. It's not even a curse, bro. I'm not even going to speak like that because there was actual football things going on in this game. Like, the head coach not having a team prepared. That was the football things going on in this game. The head coach didn't have the damn team prepared, bro. How do you get almost a 50 ball put on your damn head? This is embarrassing. I'm on y'all head. We're going to have plenty of content. Come on. I promise y'all. Wow. We ain't breaking down the game right now. This is just our first reaction, and the first reaction is, holy hell, this one, this is heavy. This is heavy shit right here. This one might be the one that tips the cow over. This game might be the one that actually forces a seismic shift in the Cowboys organization because whatever the hell we've been doing, y'all, 48 to 24 ain't it. One thing you gonna, you one thing you damn show count on is I'm gonna be here. To, I don't give a damn what's going on in the Cowboys organization. I am a Cowboys fan. I am here for this pain. I signed up for this. I like toxic women. My little boo kind of hard to deal with sometimes too. But damn, not this toxic. This may be a little OD. <laughs> oh me, I'm not gonna sit here and disrespect none of the players though. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna discount everything that they did throughout this whole season. I'm not. I'm not. Cause that's not. That's not keeping it real. That's not keeping it a buck. That's not what this channel stands on, bro. I'm not gonna get over emotional to the point where I just sit here and discount everything that these players are. All, the, all pros, all that stuff. All that shit still count, bro. I'm not taking none of that from none of these dudes, bro. But this shit was downright embarrassing, and everybody got to sit down at the table, get a big granddaddy plate, and put two big heaping helpings of shit pie on their plate and they gotta eat that shit tonight and they need a happy plate no more food left on the plate empty plate clean spick and span eat all the humble pie eat all the shit pie we gonna have to ingest what the media has to say because i'm gonna be real y'all we brought this one on ourselves bro either way y'all know how we usually in these videos i usually say how about them cowboys and i smack the hell off my desk Nah, I can't even say that no more. The new one until next season start is we still them cowboys. God damn. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me.